and boy -da -da -da. you were a farmer and after Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite village girl, Amy Consola. And today, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you two. I'll be putting on my um, if lace wig. Um, it's a pixie cut curly bob, and I got it on AliExpress. Um, and this is how it came. It came in this FedEx bag. So I got two eight inches, and everything I ran it up with taxes. I think I got like a two dollar coupon. With taxes, it ended up being like $97 for the two. So today, I will try to be bleaching the knots of the air. And one of it, this is one of it. This is one. This is the second one. I'm trying to show you basically everything that is in the bag. So I got, um, the hair says it is 180 density natural color. If you can see it, this is it. Yeah. And it comes with two bands because I ordered two, so they gave me two um, elastic bands. It's called I um, I she hair S H E I she hair, and also it comes with um, a two piece wig cap. Actually, they got the color kind of a little bit. It could have gone dark, but what else? This is another one. We have the eyelashes. I think this is one of the best lashes that has actually come with wig caps so far. This is like like with wigs because usually they just put like unrealistic eyelashes to the wig that i end up not using it but this one comes really nice and this is the, the eyelashes that comes with it and boy -da -da -da. so basically that is all that comes with the wig and let me show you because i'm going to be wearing the small one so i'm going to be showing i already brought it up but i just wanted to show you guys how it looks this is it um unwashed and it's really full this is how it comes to me and this is it the lace is brown or you brown i don't think it really needs much tinting but it's a pixie cut it's gonna look like as if it's coming out from my head like you know the natural uh, wavy black person's hair and that's how that's what i intend for so i'm gonna try to bleach the knot a little bit just for me to see how um is gonna come about i am just going to be wearing it for you to see how the hair looks like without bleaching it knots yet so this is what it looks like as you can see this is what it looks like the the i don't think the airline comes a little bit plucked but i'm just gonna i'm gonna go in to do like more work for it for myself and as you can see i don't think if you can see the airline this is what the airline looks like really thick really really thick you can do whatever pattern you want and this is it so i'm gonna take you into the process of bleaching the hair and putting it on today i'm not gonna be doing glue i'm gonna be doing glue just because i want to work for a long time to see how it stays on my head so i'm gonna be putting it i'm gonna be showing you how i bleach my knots how i wear my hair with the glue you know and styling it i got to, i went ahead to get some stuff just to be able to style it properly today hopefully it looks nice on me but we're gonna see so stay tuned guys So I'll be using my BW2 and I'll be taking two cups, two of the cups and I'll be mixing it with a 40 volume developer. I would try to make it into like a pancake mixture, like a cake butter mixture, not too wat um, watery that it's not going to run down the lace and I'm just going to mix properly, like really mix and I'll be rubbing it, not brushing it on, I'll be rubbing it on it so that it doesn't fall through like this. But this wig, honestly, I'm gonna say it's so nice. I had it on for two weeks, not let me spoil it. I had it on for two weeks and it is, the list is very comfortable, is good and very affordable. I will try to put the links below, like I've said before in my intro, but I will try to put the links below. And um, also, while I just keep brewing, I'm trying to get 
all the edges where the um, baby ears are and just to you know make it really nice and I'll be sending my timer to 25 minutes I decided to leave it on for 25 minutes because I'm using like I'm using a 40 volume developer and I'm just gonna wash it with lukewarm water and use my shimmer light purple shampoo to wash um, to get the brassiness of the air and after that I'll be using my conditioner i'll be using deep conditioner to wash the hair i would use, i would not use a shampoo i will use a deep con i will use a conditioner to condition the hair so that the curls are really still nice so i'm just rubbing the lace here and rubbing the purple shampoo all over it properly and i'm rinsing it off and i know i'm washing like i'm washing my clothes just to try to get um get off the um bleach on the hair I'm I don't know why I'm spinning like I'm washing clothes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going all over it just to rinse it properly with water so as to make sure that I got off all the bleach out of the air. So after that I'm putting my shampoo and I'm using it um the Tresme Tresme shampoo leaving um conditioning shampoo i'm sorry not conditioning shampoo i'll be using the tresemme shampoo and i'm just gonna like really work it through the air rinse it off then you put it in the shampoo on the air again and put it in a plastic bag and leave it in there for like 30 minutes just to really condition the air if it was after that um i use i went ahead to put my wig on a mannequin head and twist it as you can see it look at how like just bleaching it not look at how it looks really nice on my head so I'm just going to pluck out what I want as to the edge um, type of frontal I want like my edges how I want it to be so I'm going to do to pluck it to my satisfaction I'm not a professional what plucking I just do what I like on my head I think I don't read for anybody I just started wearing wigs and I feel like um, you know let me put my knowledge out there my learning progress so i'm just going out to come me through pluck it come me through pluck it come me through and pluck it just come out the lines that i want and pluck um twist my baby hair and so as to reduce the end on the lace front because that hair is thick like really really thick you know just going all over the air can you see how those the curls are popping? I know if you see it in the first video, you think that there was nothing, but look at how the curls are popping. Yeah, they are really popping. So what I'm doing is, um, I'm not drying the the old air. I'm just using an air dryer to dry the lace because to dry the lace because um, I'm trying to spray this uh, spray tan on it. I'm just spraying it uh, on it so it's blended, and I'm using my brush, my um, powder brush, just to blend up the foundation. Um, the, Thing, the spray tan and also using air dryer to blow dry it. Now we're gonna go to doing the cap like the I'm not I haven't learned like this is like just like a bowed cap method. So I'll be using my gut gas to be just to hold my non existent edges in place. You know, at least try to put it in a way so it's smooth and it lays down properly. So um after that I will be using just using my hand to brush it to the back properly and I'll go in with my air dryer just to dry it a little bit so that the air slips and I'll be putting my cap over my head and for my to lay the cap on my head I'll be using the gut to be um, glue on my head um, to you know the regular back cap method that everybody does that's what I'm going to be doing see I'm squeezing my face like somebody's getting Okay, so I'm going to get to use my Android at low um, medium setting. I forgot to take up my hair size, so that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now after I started. So I'm just putting in my big ears. So I'll be using my uh, maybe color stay and also my uh, true beauty true beauty or true radiance um, concealer contour palette on my cap just to 
you know blend it out properly i'm using the contour palette because it's a little darker on the cap so it's really nice so i'm just brushing the makeup over my head just to you know blend the cap to my skin i haven't cut out the excess cap yet because i like to um do the lace um the cap properly with the powder and get it to my skin tone before i start cutting it out so i don't have like all this excess cut out when i'm doing it and powder on my skin so i'm just taking my time to cut it in according according to my airline structure i have like a really narrow airline like a man's airline which is very annoying my cap is my caps are touching my brows that because that's where my eye actually reach which is very very annoying so i'm just pulling it to the back <laughs> So, can you see how the curls are popping? And I haven't even used anything on this cap. And there's no like elastic cap or anything, elastic band, and the wig is already staying on my head. Honestly, literally, you can use this cap um, wig as a glueless wig, but I just wanted to glue it on my head because I wanted it to stay on my head. Can you see? Can you see that? okay so what i'm doing is i'm taking my concealer a lighter shade of concealer just to demarcate where i'm going to be cutting so that when i am putting the glue on my head it is going to be easy to know where i'm putting as not to get the excess can you see so i'm just going to be putting my um lace glue within that bracket uh, within that line so what i'm doing is i'm first of, i'm first of all going ahead with the lace glue just to you know blend up my cap properly just to let the cap sleep at the edge you know ball you see we're doing ball 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 the ball, ball cap method and i'm going in with my air dryer on low mid low setting just to dry and i'm going in again now with my first coat like first original coat for the lace cream so and i'm using like a makeup brush that you add so spread it because i found that that works better for me i don't use it because the brush is gonna spread it really really nice i'm gonna have to do the second coat this is the second coat and i'm using mid low setting again low setting just to dry it yeah it takes time but the patience is worth it low 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 setting I'm just putting dots dots here and it so that I can be able to blend it properly and I'm putting it I'm spreading it all the way to the cap so that the lace is slipping properly on my head that's the second coat I mean I said this is the first one the second coat but this is the second coat so what what I'm doing what I'm doing is I did the first coat um, I did a tiny bit coat on my cap and I let I spread it out and I did the first coat on my edges not on my edges after at the front of the cap and I let it dry on the second one I did the second coat too I did the same thing on the second I went three coats I usually use three coats because I feel like I find out that if I use more than three coats it's gonna be too heavy for me and I don't like it so I always stick to three coats so right now I'm just cutting out the lace at the back of the wig you know just taking my time to cut real nice and you know see that cup. so yeah just blending it and bl um, drying it out and now i'm going to pull that the cap so you know with the concealer thing that i did so i'm watching the one on the cap on the net on the lace the concealer that, that i did i'm watching the dots on the lace with the dots on my skin so that i know exactly where i'm gonna cut because i did not apply the cream outside of the place the glue outside of that place so i'm using my brush just to melt it onto my skin can you see how this net slips on my head and i did not use any tint on it i only bleached this lace no tint can you see how this is slipping on my head looks like my oh god this is my hair literally you know the air that i cannot have my curls do not come out like this so this is my hair for me 
I, I'm gonna say I rocked this wig. Like this is the first wig I wore two weeks straight and did not come off my head. It is really worth it. It is worth the investment. And guess what? You get two for that price. Like, so I got two eight inches for I think 88 something or 89 something. I'm gonna put the link. So what I'm doing is because I did not put glue um, around my um, teddy near my ears so i'm going to, to apply glue separately on um, that so i can take my time to let it dry properly without having to make it really tacky and nasty because um i've already placed the cap on my head and i'm i've no the right size to cut out of my ears so now i'm just going to, to cut like vertical lines around uh, like the points of my head like my brows the center of my head and my other side of my brows i'm doing all that all over so that i can cut out the lace nicely nice and fine and i'll be taking my hot comb just to you know push the hair backwards and seamless can't you see that huh? this is giving me edges by the edges that i do not have that i'm lacking that's what this is giving to me and then i love it and i'm taking like the eye um eyebrow um razor just to like get, cut the lace so that it gives it that really nice not that all over straight cut that we that I used to do before so I'm taking this razor blade just to you know go around the net And before we go, I hope you guys are keeping safe, be safe, wash your hands, use sanitizer, wear face masks if you're going out to get a kind of person that likes to, that wants to wear, wear face masks, be safe, wash your hands when you come back into the house, and be safe guys, please, 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 be safe and be careful out there. So I'm just taking the um, the tail of my rat's comb, bright tail comb, just to apply glues to the places that I feel like they do not have like enough glues, and I'm using my comb just to like press it in properly after waiting for like a couple of minutes to let him dry. So now I'm about to do my baby hair. Let me tell you guys, I struggle with baby hair. I think I should have just left the hair without the baby hair, and it would have come out really nice because I do not, for the life of me know how to do baby hair i struggle like even on my natural hair i struggle to do baby hair, that i always end up just brushing everything to the back but i wanted to give it a try out today just to do like some little little thing on my hair i think i even i i think i used a hot comb to burn my hair <laughs> taking my eyelashes off <laughs> god that thing was getting in my way i had to rip it out so I'm taking an elastic band just to tie it around my head so that the lace can melt properly while I style the hair, you know, so it's going to adhere to my skin really, really nice and tight. Can you see that line? Can you see how thick this hair is? And let me tell you guys, this is a 13 by 6, not 13 by 4 and the hair is really soft the curls do not tangle i remember i took a trip for like four days and this hair i had this hair on my head like it was there i didn't have to take a brush or all i did was just put in water and use my finger to come off this hair like this is not a sponsored um advertisement but i just have to say it so i'm using like a heat um heat spray on the hair you know just to so that the oh come on, i'm running through it doesn't damage it or doesn't burn it like i don't know if it's necessary you don't have to do it but i do that for it and i'll be using this foaming and styling mousse on the hair just to get the curls popping you see oh, so we're getting the curls popping and i'll be using this volume volumanic by gatsby um on the hair just to give the hair volumes what curls are popping really really nice and I'll be using my hot comb to pat the hair pretty well I do not like to go into my pattern because I like to put my hair in different styles and I want to be able to have the options of wearing my hair different ways so I do not I repeat, I do not tweeze my pattern at all I do not like it I do not do it 
you can do it but i do not that is whatever suits everybody but i do not do it and i'm just going out to use like the brush just to get out the hair so i can do my baby hair now let's the struggle begins for baby hair yeah the struggle really begins for the baby hair i'm trying i think i use a brush literally brushed off my scalp but you know came out really really nice i did not you know do like a video at the end but this is what the air looks like but after a couple of days i'm gonna insert some pictures at the end just to so that you can see how after a couple of days this wig is still on my head i did not do like an outro video i think i did not or i lost the video but this is what this hair looks like can you see it feels like this is like is my scalp and i haven't put any foundation on the net just to blend it with my skin yet the only thing that i use is hot comb and the elastic band just to get it on my head and i'm you know mustifying the air i'm putting a lot of mousse on mousse on the air and using this um black thingy that i use on the head just to get it properly i know i shouldn't have done it i think i try to use my blow dryer with this thing just to i forgot what they call this mouth this mouth is just to get the air to curl up and scrunch up properly but after this product that was the only product i applied all the two weeks that i have it all i did was just wet the hair and i'm good to go wet the air and i'm good to go wet the air and put my hands through it and i'm good to go and you get you get the baby wigs can you see the curls can you see that and i got these wigs for two for 88 dollars and guys before we go don't forget to subscribe like comment and share this video thank you very much for your support people that have stayed for me thank you much and bye bye be safe guys